Um, today we're with uh, Gonzalo Vargas from Chile. Gonzalo is a brand ambassador. It was uh, fantastic meeting him in Italy. Um, Gonzalo, welcome. Hello, hello, John. Thanks, thanks uh, for this uh, beautiful invitation uh, to share uh, with you and uh, and also my painting. So it's fantastic to see you again. So Gonzalo is saying that right now it's winter in Chile. Um, I, you know, it's, it's hard, kind of hard to imagine. I always think of Chile being this warm place that's always warm, but uh, you're, you're, you know, you're pretty far down there. It's, it's a beautiful country. Yes, we, we are, uh, we have uh, many different kinds of climate because uh, Chile is a very long country from the north of, of the country, we have a desert, uh, uh, more uh, hot temperatures, but we, we also have uh, Patagonia and very, very cold weather. Awesome. Um, Ethel, do you have Gonzalo's uh, yeah. PowerPoint? Yes, I'm just about to share a screen. Sorry? We are We're going to show you the PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we all see this? Yes. Oh. Okay. So we always make sure that our guest gets the chance to follow you via your social media account, Gonzalo. This is Gonzalo's Facebook. This is his Instagram account. And the next couple of slides, Gonzalo, um, are your sample artworks. So you wanna share us a bit about each of the artwork and we can start with this artwork. Yes, uh, this is a, a view from, from the up, upside of the city uh, of Viña del Mar. I, I like the, this kind of land, landscapes that uh, they are a little complex to to have a, an approach, but uh, this also gives you uh, some space for uh, creativity, some space for uh, to change the reality, and uh, and and look for something that is not so obvious to to find it. Well, this is in, in the same uh, uh, way of, uh, of search. Uh, uh, this is a, a invest, investigation about how you can uh, view the, the landscape when you are in movement. I, I always like to, to have a, to have a, a approach about what you can see from from the car, from 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 the train, uh, the landscape uh, it's very dynamic. Uh, and the landscape uh, it's very dynamic. Uh, Just give me a moment, Gonzalo. Let's quickly check. There's some echo. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hang on. Okay, we're good now. Thank you. Sorry about so, that. So uh, I look, I look for the figure, figurative uh, approach, but also the ab abstract uh, shapes that you can uh, find in this kind of landscapes. This is uh, this is about uh, Barcelona. Uh, I find an, an old uh, photograph in black and white, and I I make the exercise to to have uh, a color uh, interpretation, um, but always 
always looking for find a little more more uh, more far than uh, than you can just see in the photo uh, this is a, a typical view at uh, the south of chile uh, it's about uh, chiloe chiloe is a, a beautiful island um, that have uh, usually you have a beautiful view about boats uh, uh, features and uh, th this is a I think uh, it's about uh, a picture, not, it's not mine, this picture, but uh, I interpret it in a way uh, about uh, showing the light, uh, the atmosphere about this place that uh, I love to, to buy it. This is about, uh, well, it's a more urban escape. It's about uh, Iquique, a, it's a north city of Chile, at the north side of the country. Um, and this, this was for a project that uh, some friends in Chile have about painting from Google Street View they make uh, this uh, this kind of uh, invitation uh, about 30 or, or 40 Chilean artists to um, to make to finally have a, a book about the different forms of approach from uh, <laughs> from a, a digital phone time. Uh, well, this, <laughs> this, uh, this was also about the COVID situation when, uh, when you can't go and, and paint so easy. And this one is about, uh, oh, sorry, this, this one is, is about, about a place very near of my house in uh, here in, in Limachi. It's a, a small uh, small place about some old buildings, but uh, always it's about the light. I I enjoy the the beautiful light that uh, you can have in this uh, this place here. This one is about uh, Valparaiso, a uh, very famous uh, city, a very, uh, maybe we can say, a poetic uh, or romantic uh, city with uh, old houses. Um, and uh, it's very, very, very well known about the different colors of the, the cities, of the buildings. Yeah, that's the end of the slide, um, John. Those are really nice. So, Gonzalo, did you have formal training as a watercolorist? I have a... I have uh, begun uh, painting with a, a professional uh, watercolor painter, uh, but he was not like a teacher. Uh, he's more like a person that uh, we, we we went together to paint and and just that. This was in my early years. But Gonzalo, aren't you an architect? Am I wrong? 
Yes, yes, I am. I'm architect. Uh, during during my time as a as a uh, alumno, as a student. Yes, as a student, uh, I usually goes for the city, uh, making a sketch. Uh, main uh, plenty of of sketches, uh, and, and this is a very very good way to to connect with the city and with the with the drawing. And is watercolor your main medium? Have you done oils or? Uh, my yes, for me, watercolor is the main the the main medium or the only medium. I haven't uh, uh, practiced with oil or or acrylic. Um, I see feel feel a aquarela. <laughs> he has been faithful to watercolor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Muy fiel. <laughs> sí. Very faithful. So yes, I have. A, go ahead. Sorry, I I have some interest in try in try acrylic, but I don't. I haven't do it yet. Mm -hmm. So while Gonzalo's doing his demonstration, he said you can go ahead and ask him questions. If it takes uh, um, extra time, then he'll also answer some of those at the end. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So with that, Gonzalo, would you like to begin? And if you're on uh, Zoom, please ask Gonzalo questions as, you, as he goes along. And if you're on Facebook, I'm gonna ask Angela and Letiza and Ethel to translate your, your messages. Well, I, I will work about, about this uh, photo uh, that I take it uh, just uh, a few days ago. This was after uh, a big rain in the city. Then the the landscape uh, it looks very beautiful in the color and the the light. Is this near where you live? Yes, yes. Uh, this is sub suburban uh, place near the near the the center of the city. Or we can say that these are informal houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's a little. It have a little angle. The. It's okay. Or. Yes. Yes. It's fine. It's we good. can see fine. Yeah. Is yeah. this are you painting on on watercolor? I mean, arches or what paper are you painting on? Uh, this is ba bahong paper. Oh, bahong, yes, the Chinese. Ba Chinese, yes. Is it right. um, 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 hot pressed or cold pressed? Rough? Is it rugoso or grano fino? Is it grano fino? I think it's grano fino. Sí. So it's a good good paper. It's a good paper. Cold press. Yeah. yeah. Well, I will prepare the brushes. Rosario is asking, since when are you painting with watercolor? Uh, what? ¿Desde cuándo estás pintando acuarela? ¿Desde cuándo? Sí. Yeah, about uh, 15 years. Uh -huh. So 15 years. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
Well, I will begin with the, in a, a traditional way, painting the, the sky part of the, of the painting. Uh, I will paint a sky not too, not too strong. Uh, uh, as I, I may say a soft sky. What color? I will use some um, some blues. Uh, a mix. And also, yes, a mix of blues and uh, green, a tallow blue, uh, a little of of cobalt, and also a little of uh, sienna mm -hmm. to make it a little more gray. I, and maybe some, a little part of um, yellow walker. And Rosario is also asking, uh, did you take watercolor classes or are you self-taught? It is autodidacta or Tomás de classes de acuarela? No, uh, more autodidact. Uh, uh -huh. More self-taught, yes. Yes. I, I participate in a, also in a workshop with a well-known artist from from my city uh, but this was about uh, more recent <laughs> recent years about uh, 2010 but all my training it was uh, uh, autodidact mm -hmm. in the early times well, I give some humidity for the paper, not too much. I will prepare also the, the blue colors. We have, blue we, colors. Have a, we have a question that maybe you can reply at the end because it's a bit long, I think. Oh, what yeah. advice would you give to a young artist just learning watercolor painting? So maybe oh. you can reply to that at the end, no? Yeah, it's a it's a good a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank uh, you. I, uh, good and long question. Exactly. Gonzalo. Yeah. How long did you spend on the drawing for this painting? Uh, I think uh, very very few. Uh, I, I make very few uh, lines, about uh, five minutes, not, not too much. Because uh, I, I like better to, to give uh, a more open drawing, not to, to calculate, because uh, that gives you more flexibility. I like the way you think. Sorry if I take some <laughs> some time uh, in preparing the, the colors. Okay. Small. 
somebody in uh, in uh, Facebook is interested in your Michael Soloyev brush and asking what are the advantages of using. Oh. Yes, I, I love the, this uh, practice from uh, Michael. He has, he has uh, them in, um, in, his, in his website, I think. Yes. You know, there is a person from uh, Chile living in the States. And she's asking, do you live in Santiago? Is it difficult to get the painting supplies there? Uh, no. No, in, in the last years, we have uh, many uh, dealers, uh, different uh, uh, shops that uh, I, I think in the last five years or so about, uh, it increased a lot, the shops selling uh, good materials. Uh, one of them is Somos Color, right? Somos Color. Somos Color, uh, Arte Nostro. Arte Nostro also, yeah. Uh, Arte Papel. Uh, in my town, in Viña, there is also a small one, uh, Cosmos. And, and some ones are especially well uh, uh, prepared uh, in watercolor materials. Can you get uh, Daniel Smith in Chile? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, fortunately, we have uh, from uh, about one year or, or a little less, we have it uh, in, at, at least in, in three uh, stores. So we are very, very happy to to have it uh, a little a little closer than years ago. Uh, here we have a message that I'll translate, but I can also read in Spanish because it's written in Spanish. In Spanish, Gonzalo, cariños desde Santiago. ¿Qué sientes que tienen las acuarelas, Daniel Smith, que no tienen otras acuarelas? So the Sara is asking, um, what do you feel um, that these Daniel Smith watercolors have that other uh, watercolors don't? Um, see, yes. Um, um, if if it's too long, it so. I think I think there are many. Well. I think there are many uh, colors in. Daniel Smith water watercolor materials and many colors that are very special in uh, in itself. Uh, when you paint, it's supposed that you paint uh, mixing all the colors. Uh, but as as I am saying, there are some so beautiful colors that they in they itself makes you have um, a feeling about how to paint something. Uh, I, I think that sometimes you have to concentrate in some colors of Daniel Smith uh, to take a bit, uh, the, the best advantage about uh, it has some uh, gray tones that I really love. Uh, some greens that I haven't, I, I haven't, I haven't found in other brands, you know. But so, uh, 
¿Mm? Para Sara, se lo digo en español, ¿qué has encontrado? Sí. O lo quieres decir tú en español, que has encontrado que tienen colores que no tienen otras marcas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, y en, y en, y en distintas áreas. Por ejemplo, en, en los verdes, he encontrado verdes que, que me encantan y que realmente me, me, me inspiran o me acercan para lograr eh, ciertas cosas. Ciert, eh, ciert, me da ciertos sentimientos de cómo trabajar en la acuarela a partir de, de determinados colores que, que realmente te, te inspiran. Sí, yeah, you feel very inspired by these colors. For example, this one, what green was that? Now I have a Hadeita, Hadeita green. Hadeite, yes, Hadeite. Hadeite, yes. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful green, it's, it's a dark green, very strong. I also have a sack green and a cobalt teal, a little of sienna all working uh, together. Sorry, I have lost some brushes. Well, this is uh, also uh, Michael's oh, Michael. Brush. Yes, yeah. Michael uh, gives me many, many brushes. A very, very good. Uh, They have very good shape, these oriental branches. Well, now I will paint something about, uh, about the houses. that are in a more uh, uh, warm colors, but also some uh, a little uh, colders. It's a, mix, it's a mix of tones. This would be the roofs. Uh, it's no, I now I'm painting uh, some shapes about the houses and the roof. I I'm keeping mostly in in, in white. Mm -hmm. Here we can appreciate also the texture of the paper. With grand, fine, fine, fine uh, grain, but yeah, cold pressed. Mm -hmm. Cold pressed, yeah. Is that uh, masking tape you're using to hold your paint down? Your painting down. Uh, your question is exactly. Can you repeat What? your question, please? Oh, it, are you using masking tape to hold your painting down? 
eh, si usas más, más, eh, o sea, cinta para sostener tu papel. Eh, yes, I usually, usually use it. Uh, sometimes uh, I just put in two sides of the paper. Uh, they are uh, in the in in Zoom. Someone would like to know uh, what is. Do you know what colors you put in the house mix? The mix for the house. Yes, I have some some sienna colors. Sienna. Some yeah. sienna colors. Uh, Kinagridon sienna and also burnt sienna. And uh, red cadmium red. Uh, Alizarin, a little, and also a little of ochre, yellow ochre. This is like, like a fifth layer. So you give a lot of variety to your CNS. It's not always the same, but you, you mix other colors to give variety, no? Yes, I, I try to to have a, a good variety. We have some uh, geometrical shapes. We can say of the of the idea of, of, of houses and buildings. Gonzalo. Yes. Uh, how much of your architectural background informs your painting? Um, I think it's it is always uh, there. It's always present. <laughs> uh, I I have a special feeling about uh, buildings, about uh, the city. I enjoy a lot uh, uh, ob observing the the shapes that uh, that produce the city in the di different uh, moments of the day. So uh, I always connect about. Uh, this, uh, I may say, I could say, uh, a chow. It's, uh, it's a big chow uh, that you have in front of your eyes uh, all the days. Thank you. Um, Gonzalo, we have a question from Sandra. Uh, she says, how long do you normally spend on one painting when you are not doing demos? And do you layer? Haces capas? 
Uh, yes, yes. Uh, some, sometimes I paint uh, uh, more more quickly, more more sketchy, and maybe I I take about half an hour. But uh, I don't like to paint very long uh, time. I think it could be about two hours, not not uh, too much than that. Mm -hmm. And Lillian uh, in Zoom would like to know if you give Zoom classes or live classes that people can uh, take. Uh, I yes, I, I I have some uh, I have made some uh, Zoom classes, but uh, I would like to continue about that uh, classes. I interrupt them by well, for <laughs> by different uh, issues about time, <laughs> but I would like to continue that. And do you like planner painting? I I love it. Yes, uh, I I think it's it's a great uh, adventure. Uh, I I feel a big emotion when you you are in a way in the in the way to paint when you are choosing the the scope. Uh, uh, I, I think it's fantastic uh, planner painting, but uh, I I also feel that uh, I have to practice it more because sometimes it's not easy to to prepare it to to have the time. Oops, mm. you uh, lost your image. May run out. May have run out battery. Gonzalo, the other camera is um, out. Ah. Yeah, power. Yeah. ¿Te has quedado yeah. sin batería o algo? Ahora. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank no. You. Problem solved. <laughs> no, pose alarm. No. Pose alarm. <laughs> no, it appears, it appears some strange uh, message. <laughs> Sorry. Lillian would really like to know uh, where you advertise your online classes. Do you have a website or where would you advertise? O sea, ¿Dónde anunciarías tus clases si, si hicieras? ¿Lo harías en la web o yes, Facebook? It, or... it, it will be in, uh, in Facebook and uh, Instagram. Okay, Facebook and Instagram. If you follow him, then you can be updated with all his uh, courses and classes. Yeah. <laughs> Gonzalo, do you use any granulating colors? Uh, yes, I have uh, some beautiful granulate colors like uh, uh, la lunar violet. Uh -huh. uh, also lunar blue. Yes. But I I don't use it uh, always. Uh, may, maybe in um, in some uh, urban scapes, 
to create uh, some uh, shapes in the buildings or also the, in, uh, in in country landscapes to have some textures Angela yep uh, following on from Angela's question do you uh, apply fresh paint or or do you allow the paint to dry in a in your palette before using um, no i i i think i i mix i have a, a mixture mixture of fresh paint with also uh, the the paint that it's a little older. Right. Sometimes uh, to fetch paint, uh, it's making you a little difficult to to calculate in a in a good uh, way. Do, do you uh, ever use the uh, the stick? Yes, I I have a, I have been experimenting with the sticks. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they are very very good uh, uh, weapons to to make to give a more ex, ex, expressivity expression to the paint. Um, but I, I feel also that I have to still uh, uh, investigate the best use about uh, sticks. Yeah. Right, thank you. Gonzalo, te quedan 20 minutos. <laughs> Muy bien. Ya vamos, ya vamos a acelerar. No, para orientarte <laughs> simplemente, no para... Ah, ya, yeah. no, no, perfecto. perfecto. Sorry, I, I just reminded him of the time and not to put pressure, just to, to, to make him aware, that's all. Ya. Yeah. Yes, uh, because... You can, <laughs> when you're painting, you are, you lose a little the, the idea of time. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, uh, they have some, some uh, far uh, trees and, and vegetation. vegetation. Margaret says this is such a beautiful and calming painting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Margaret. And Graciana, uh, uh, she says great life and beautiful painting. Yes, I, I, I'm trying to, to, um, to be trans to have a good uh, transparency of the layers, of the colors, not too much uh, interven intervention of, 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 uh, of the parts of the painting. Just to have uh, rich colors, Now I will paint uh, a layer about uh, greens. Is the the foreground of the painting?
And Sandra uh, says, thank you, John, for taking us all around the world and to some fascinating countries. You're so welcome. Absolutely true. This is also a mix, no, Gonzalo? It's also a mix of Korean. Yes, yes I, I have uh, some uh, different greens and also some uh, cobalt, cobalt teal. Mm -hmm. Gonzalo. Yeah. Uh, is there a place that you'd love to paint that you've not ever painted, and and why is that? Oh, sorry, I I lost it. Decías si hay algún sitio en el que te gustaría pintar que todavía no hayas pintado y que por qué motivo? Yes, yes. Uh, I would like to paint in uh, in Patagonia, in uh, the, at the south of, of Chile. There are very very beautiful uh, places. I have I have visited there a uh, few years ago, but in in this uh, trip, I am not. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was not with the painting ma materials. Gonzalo, um, I also want to paint in Patagonia. Yes? Oh, yeah. Please tell me someone that wouldn't like to paint in Patagonia. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> such a fun place. Uh, it's so, so beautiful, yes. There are many beautiful uh, rivers, mountains. It's really... Uh, a dream, I'm, <laughs> I can say. Mm. Gonzalo? Yeah? How many layers typically would you put on a a painting that you were doing? I think no, not uh, more than three. Right. In, the, in general, in general. Now I have some, the use of some lines. to have a, a better definition of the, the shapes. And Magella is saying, I love how the sky has dried, so delicate. Yes, I, I look for a very delicate or soft sky to have a, a better con contrast with the planes, the planes uh, of the the variety of shapes and colors. So we have a more uh, space or 
uh, tranquil area. Peaceful, yes. Peaceful, yeah. It is absolutely peaceful. Your painting is very, very peaceful. Everyone is commenting on that. It is very oh, great. <laughs> yes. But Anna Candela says we can travel vicariously to Patagonia with watercolors. <laughs> <laughs> all, all we need a little of Patagonia. <laughs> yeah, probably. And Lillian says, are you following the details of your photo or improvising your own style and vision? No, no, I I left the, the photo away. So you're doing your own thing, yeah. Yes, yes. I Well, sometimes I, I left the photo, but uh, in time and time I, I take a look to have some idea or suggestion from the photo. Anna Candela a vibrancy hmm? and peace. Anna Candela ah. has written a vibrancy and peace within. O sea, colores vibrantes, pero también muy calmado, no sé, con calma dentro. Sí. Sí, and now, now I am exploring the shapes, uh, looking for uh, more uh, contrast, more dark, dark colors. So I, I'm going from light to darks in, <laughs> uh, in a traditional way of the watercolor. Now I will, now I will work a little more in uh, the foreground. This is dry brush stroke, right? Yes, yes. Bell is saying lovely colors and enjoy uh, his mixes, so soft. Janet Ujueta dice, muy bello. She says, very beautiful. Yes, muchas gracias. Thank you. And Edward says, good idea. The colors of the Patagonia are very good with Daniel Smith palette. <laughs> Maybe we need some Patagon Patagonia colors. <laughs> yeah, I think you have to organize something. Patagonia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, uh, my my niece uh, that you you already know, Angela. Yes, I remember. My niece, she's living in Patagonia. Oh, what a temptation! <laughs> she invites me to buy to buy visit here. Mm -hmm. Gonzalo. Yeah. How important is it to connect all the dark segments that you're putting into the painting? The dark uh... shapes? Did you say shapes? Uh, th these these uh, almost random strokes that you're putting in the dark bits. It... 
how important it is to connect those, right? Yeah. ¿Qué importancia tiene conectar todas estas marcas más oscuras que has hecho? Si tiene importancia, pues darles una conexión. Es, es, yes. I think it's very important. Because uh, it's like when you are making a, a sculpture, you are sculpting the, the paint and uh, nothing is uh, defined because uh, you have to you have to uh, no, lo digo en español vale. eh, creo, creo que la, la definición no hay una definición previa de la obra sino que hay que ir construyéndola en el en la conexión misma con la, con la pintura, desde el sentirse conectado. Eh, y en eso es muy importante justamente ir eh, dando esos toques que la van eh, moldeando. En el principio no hay shape o building, uh, he needs to build the connections himself with the subject and um, the subject itself to uh, like define it, to uh, get to acquire more definition. That's why his dark marks are so important and they should be connected to each other to give this structure. Yeah, I, I agree. It's, it's, it's now given the painting a, a real sense of dimension. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Janine me pregunta qué inclinación de trabajo. What, how inclined is your work? Um, in, este, in, este, in this moment? The, yeah. It's, uh, well, it's a little about uh, 10 or 15. 10 or 15 percent, yeah. Percent, yes. Not too much. Hola, Gonzalo. Soy Tiny. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Está muy, bon está muy bonito. Thank you. Oh, gracias. Gracias. Sí. Estuve contigo en, en la, la semana anterior. No, no, nos conocemos bastantes años. Sí, no, pero estuve en el, en el live, en el live también. Estabas, no, no has dicho nada. Y sí, me conecté en condiciones un poquito difíciles y estaba con el teléfono. Y no, bueno, no, no logré decir nada, pero, pero estaba ahí. Sí. Muy bonito, sigue adelante, muy bonito. Vale. Gracias. This is Penny just uh, complimenting Gonzalo. Muy, bueno, es. Eh, I think that. Uh, there are many, I, I don't have, I don't know uh, how many times we have. How much? How long? How much? How, how long? long? Yes. <laughs> Thank how you. How long do we have, uh, John? It's almost time, isn't it? Does he have any more time? Um, certainly like five minutes. Podrías, yeah. te ayudarías uh, en minutos? Sí. Great, great. To have some touches. Uh, more touch. Mm -hmm. That is also another the liner by Michael Soloyev. It's uh, his yes. work is his solo. This one is not Soloyev. No, not no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I have I have told to Michael that I love his his uh, his brushes. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful uh, brushes or 
weapons. <laughs> weapons. <laughs> you know, a comment by Lillian. She says, Gonzalo, I love the blue, the blue color house. That great choice of color has become my focal point on this beautiful painting. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, is that on that purpose? Is, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, just, lo digo en español. Justamente eh, en esta como mixtura y diversidad de, de elementos, eh, pensé que era bueno destacar en especial una casa que sería el más centro de atención. Yes, he thinks that in all this diversity, he wanted to make one house stand out to call for attention. So uh, he's achieved it. Yes, uh, and Buffy comments, the little teal blue house in front reminds me of my grandparents' home growing up. So interesting ah. how color can bring memories. <laughs> and Kathleen comments, the blue house is exactly what brings the painting together. Well, fantastic. <clears throat> Well, uh, here uh, I will work later in uh, the textures in the first plane, the foreground, and also make some small details, uh, some windows and el architectural elements. And maybe also uh, have uh, more dark uh, colors in some uh, of the shapes. But it is almost finished, no? Yes, it's, it's almost, yeah. So Gonzalo, how do you know when you're done? Yay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a... Uh, a very good question. A I think question. that I think that it depends. Uh, in part, it depends. Well, about the style of the each painter, uh, but also it depends about the the kind of uh, of paint. For example, in in this case, there are many many parts that you can uh, make some patches, uh, some uh, uh, layers that you can give it a, a, a darker layer, additional one. Uh, but I, I think that it's a, something that you feel. You feel it. Uh, you feel that is okay. Um, simple, uh, you stop it, and uh, maybe later, <laughs> I I I left it uh, rest in rest, and later I I take a look and a fresh new uh, look, and then I determine about continue or or not. Uh, will you post your painting when you finished? Vas a vas a postear, yeah. vas a compartir tu pintura cuando esté totalmente acabada? Ah, uh, yes. That's a good idea. I will I will share it. Awesome. Gonzalo. Yeah. Um do you deliberately paint to the edge of the masking tape to get a crisp edge? Or do you sometimes just let it fade out in areas? Uh, in in sometimes I I I I paint from the center of the of the the paint to the sides. Uh, 
and left some some parts of the paper uh, without paint. Yeah. Um, but in this case, uh, I decide to have a more more fixed uh, borders. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you very much for being with us today. You're, it looks, it came, it's, I would agree with everybody and all their comments. It, it just came to life in front of our eyes. Um, it's just beautiful technique. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, John. Uh, all, all the friends that uh, are uh, sharing this, uh, this moment with us. It's beautiful. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gonzalo. Enjoy. Bye. Everyone. Thank you. Bye.